Good day, my dear learners. Today, we are going to broaden our knowledge about solutions. Many chemical reactions are carried out in solutions. And solutions are also closely related to our everyday lives. The air we breathe, the liquids we drink, and the fluids in our body are all examples of solutions. What are solutions? How are they useful in our everyday lives? A solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. Why we call solution as a homogeneous mixture? Because the mixture is just the same throughout. It has one paste, uniform, one color, and one layer or one form. We have two components of a solution the solvent and the solute. The solvent is present in the largest amount and does the dissolving. Example is water. The solute is present in a small amount and it is the one being dissolved. Example is sugar. So when we mix water and sugar, the mixture produces solution. The sugar spread out evenly and will not settle. We also considered water as a universal solvent because it can dissolve almost everything. We have also different types of solutions. We have gas-to-gas -gas solution wherein the solute is gas and the solvent is also a gas. Example is air. Air is a homogeneous mixture of different gases, like nitrogen and oxygen. Aside from air, we have also natural gas, oxygen acetylene, a mixture used for welding. Then, we have gas-to-liquid solution, wherein the solute is a gas and the solvent is liquid. An example is carbonated drinks. Another is liquid-to-liquid -liquid solution, wherein the solute is liquid and the solvent is liquid. Examples are juices and alcohol in water. Another type of solution is solid-to-liquid solution. Examples, sugar in water and salt in water. We have also solid to solid solution. Examples are steel and brass. Then the last one is gas to solid solution. An example is marshmallows. We have also two terms to explain the concentrations of solution. Concentration means it is the amount of solute dissolved in a specific amount of solvent. In a concentrated solution, the solute has large amounts in a given solvent. Examples are brine solution or seawater. We have also orange juice and dark color tea. In a dilute solution, the solute has a small amount and the solvent has large amount. Examples Light colored tea and one teaspoon of sugar dissolved in a glass of water. Which is the most important solution in the world? So one of the most important solution in the world, in fact, is the air we breathe, a combination of nitrogen, oxygen, noble gases, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. What are the importance of solution in our daily life? Solution is very important in the study of foods and human nutrition. Only substances which can be dissolved can be assimilated. Many substances which will not dissolve in pure water will dissolve in water which contains something else in solution. So, solutions are really very important in our daily life. That's for today's learning video guys, and I hope you have learned something from our video.